Hi, this is Robert. Just reviewing the Minnesota Vikings 2016 season. Well, it wasn't quite what we expected at the beginning of the season. We finished the season at 8-8, eight, eight, so that's just on 500. But there were, when the season was five games old, the Vikings were the only unbeaten team at 5-0. and oh. But I guess at that time it was quite an improvement from the time when, during the pre-season, the starting quarterback, Teddy Bridgewater, went down injured just in practice. So the season wasn't looking very good at that stage and the management decided they needed to do something so they uh, traded for Sam Bradford from the Eagles. And he was due to start with the Eagles during the season, uh, but they, they did have uh, backup rookie quarterback Carson Wentz available, so they decided that uh, if, if they got a first round pick and a fourth round pick, they would trade Sam Bradford uh, to the Vikings and, and start Carson Wentz. So, so the Vikings started with Sam Bradford and just had a good start to the season at 5-0. and But then after that, they lost to the Eagles, Sam Bradford's old team, and the team just seemed to collapse after that. And all this time they were suffering from other injuries to... Adrian Peterson in the second game against the Green Bay Packers and he wouldn't come back till the the Indianapolis Colts game towards the end of the season but he only played a few snaps and he hasn't played since then so I really want to review the season as as a whole it was uh, probably had high expectations at 5-0 and they probably expected to get to the playoffs and but with this collapse they've uh, they've missed out by it looks like about two games so looking backwards looking forwards it's this uh, offensive line that just uh, was a major liability during the season so during this current off season they will need to look for players to improve this offensive line how they would do it perhaps in the draft but they don't have the first round pick because they gave it away to the Eagles for Sam Bradford so they will have to uh, look for look for some offensive linemen in the second round or else try and trade up to the first round but uh, that could be very costly as well and then there's also free agency to see who's available in free agency. So the season, the Viking season, in some ways it had sort of stabilized from when Teddy Bridgewater went down, but then overall it's, it's disappointing when they had the 5-0 and start. So it's just, a, in the end, it's just a very average season, no no playoffs to look forward to just have to look forward to building up the the team next year there's the possi possibility of some players not returning Adrian Peterson he's got an 18 million salary cap that has to be dealt with Sam Bradford as well and some players might be retired Chad Greenaway, Captain Manolin, just various players, Terence Newman, could be quite a few players. The off season now for the Vikings, and just a new season off-season to build up 
build up the team to hopefully bring it in Super Bowl contention for next season. And as well, the Super Bowl will be at the US Bank Stadium, so could be the first time, try and be for the first time the home team plays in the Super Bowl. So that's what we can hope for. And as always, Skull Viking.